Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be editing this brewery tower shot. This is a local brewery in Placentia, so right outside of Fullerton, California. I really like this shot. I was trying to get it backlit, but I want to see how much information I have in the sky and maybe make it a little bit more vibrant. Right now it's a little dull. The red's dull. I don't have any blue in the sky. So there's a couple cool things that I'm going to do with this photo. So first, I'm going to crop it just a little bit. So I'm just going to take this crop tool, crop it in just a little bit to get that brewery logo on the lines of the thirds. So I'm just going to crop in like that. Then I'm going to take my exposure, just see what happens when I decrease this. I want to just see how much information I have in the sky. And you, and you can already tell when I decrease the exposure, I do have information in the sky. And that's what the beauty of shooting raw images but i can't just decrease this entire exposure because it decreases the brewery tower itself so what i'll do is a couple things first i'm going to decrease the highlights and decrease the white decrease the whites so that starts to show a little bit more information in the sky it's not perfect though i'm going to use what's called a graduated filter in a second to fix that a bit but I also want to bring up the reds a little bit. So I'm going to bring up these shadows and bring up the blacks a little bit. Now what's happening is I'm making this photo less contrasted by basically decreasing the, sh the highlights and increasing the shadow shadows. I'm decreasing contrast. And what happens is it becomes less saturated, increasing contrast actually increases the saturation of your image. So the reverse is it decreases saturation so i'm going to compensate by bringing up the saturation of this image now this image has uh, the ability to play a lot with the white balance just to see what happens you see if i bring up it becomes really orange if i bring down i can get a lot of blue in the sky which is kind of nice but i don't want to do that for the whole image so i'm going to go to my graduated filter so i'm just going to click there and right now the exposure is set to 2.77. That's really high, but that will help me understand where I am creating this graduated filter. So now with this graduated filter tool, my mouse is a little X or a little plus sign. So I'm just going to click and drag and I can see over to the left, that's what's being where the filter is being applied. So I'm just going to rotate this just a bit. So it's kind of going along the tower itself. And then I'm just going to decrease this exposure. So you can see if I decrease the exposure, I'm getting all that information back in the sky. So if I have this at zero, it's pretty blown out. But if I decrease it, I start to get information. I'm also going to change the color temperature to the left. And you can see it's starting to turn that sky into a nice blue sky. It's really, really nice. What's happening down here though, this where the sun is, it's just so overexposed. There's no information. So I'm not going to be able to get any information down there. And that's okay though. I'm going to play with the saturation a little bit, increase the saturation. So that makes that sky even more vibrant. And then just play a little bit with the highlights. If I can bring the highlights down a little bit, increase the contrast, just makes the sky a little bit and pops it more. I like that a lot. What I don't like now is the brewery sign is getting a little bit, I would say, over overshadowed by the, the sky. And so I want to make sure that the brewery logo pops as well. So I'm going to take my adjustment brush. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to paint over this. Again, my exposure is really high. It's not going to end up being that high but I'm just going to paint over all this red to see where I'm painting. So painting over all the red, so something like that. Now I can just decrease this exposure and increase the saturation of this red. I can make it a little bit more contrasty, maybe bring up the shadows a little bit. Actually, no, bring down the shadows, bring up the highlights so that the whites of this logo are a little bit brighter. Increase the clarity just a little bit and then play with the color temperature just to see what happens. If I bring it to the left, it becomes more blue. If I bring it to the right, it becomes a little bit more warm, which I like just a little bit. 
And I actually really like how this is looking. So I'm just going to uh, play around a little bit, but I kind of like that, how it looks so far without it, with it on. So it's just a little bit, it's not crazy amount of, of editing. It still looks natural, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm done with that radial filter. I'll go back to my main editing tools. I'm going to increase the noise reduction to 25, just to look at like that. I'm not going to add a vignette for this image. I think it um, doesn't call for one, and I like how the sky kind of just is blue all the way across and light all the way across. I don't need any sort of vignette in this as well. So this looks pretty good. The last thing I'll do is just do a little bit of tone curve, increase and decrease just to see how it looks to be a little bit more contrasted. Don't want to go overboard, but I think something like that looks pretty, pretty darn good. And I'm just going to go back to my graduated filter to see what this looks like. Just going to turn it a little bit more like this so that the sky above is getting a little bit of that blue too. The sky down here where the sun is is completely overblown, so it's not getting any of these edits that we're making with this filter. So it's okay to rotate it like that. So uh, let's check it out before and after. Reset, there's before, there's after. It's like a completely different image, but it still looks really great. It's a little bit more edited than my other ones, so it's not as natural, but I think it looks really, really awesome. I'm just going to decrease the saturation just a little bit. It's a little bit too much, um, but I think it looks great. Cool. Well, that's the brewery photo. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next one.